Ciao everyone and welcome to Row 50. Today I'm really excited because here with me there is Andrea. Yes. Andrea is a raw vegan expert and today she brought here an amazing, an amazing bar salad. A raw bar salad and she would like to help the uh, owner of restaurants to go to a different direction. So I would like to see more salads actually really. Yeah. Because when I go out, I really prefer to not have to eat cooked food. Logically, because cooked food slows my digestion down and it gives me, um, you know, it makes me tired. Yeah. Needs to have a raw salad here and there. Everybody needs to have some live foods. It's very important. Yeah, a live food. And yeah. here, Andrea prepared something that is a paradise. You can you can scroll here, and most of the vegetables are organic. Food. If you are up for something crunchy, up for something fresh, and up for something. Alive, alive and, and vibrant, vibrant and full of energy. Exactly, because when you're going out, you want to be energetic. You don't want yeah. to fall asleep yeah, with exactly. your friends. Exactly. Exactly. You want to have something that moves through your digestive tract easily and that wakes you up. Yeah. And that is what live food do. Yeah. So today we're going. So now we're going to start. Shall we? Yes. Sometimes for us, it's not just a fancy attitude, but it's a need. Yeah. The salad for us is a main food is our main course. And I love to go out and I love to take my friends for an outing and I love to meet friends in an outing. So that's why today we, got, we have to put together a sort of a salad bar. It's just an idea of what you can do, what you could provide. So I'm coming from Germany originally. It's a few years ago, but those days back, I remember there were, no matter where you went, in which restaurant or bar or cafe you went, you always had the option of a salad. At least um, either it was even a salad bar or you had the option of two or three different sort of salads, which was really great. So you didn't have to eat cooked. If you want to make a salad bar, um, we also need to think um, of going in a specific order. So you would not want to start on that side um, because you would have the seeds underneath of the salad. So you would of course want the customers to come in from a specific region. You are the customer yeah. and I'm gonna make you a salad. Green. Shall we do that? Green. And in between you ask you ask me what you need to know. Is that okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would like okay. this one. If this organic, isn't it? It is absolutely organic. So I'm delighted and it's so crunchy and so nice open so lettuce. I would ask my customers not to touch everything. Oh, oh you want? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's okay. And then, so we would have some nice lettuce. And I prepare it now in a way that um, you would also be able to serve this as a dish. You know, from the menu, just like people would look at the menu and yeah. say, "Oh, I would like to have sometimes." Salad. <coughs> so, which one would you? And a little bit of this. Yeah. Okay. Is this one from your garden? This is not from my garden. This, this one is organic yes. from Tesco's, actually. Mm. Instead, this one. So wherever fine. you go shopping, you get it. You get yeah. It. So this one. What's the name? One, this one is called Purslane, and this is I'm growing up myself. It's a bit difficult to get here in Ireland, actually, but it might be an idea. So if I can grow it here in Ireland, you can do that too. Good. And I just do it this and way, and would then I would like straight away some. Um, some sauerkraut, it's yeah, homemade, it's homemade sauerkraut. sauerkraut. Yeah, but you can buy that everywhere in the shops. You can get it organic, you can get it raw, even. And of course, cherry tomatoes. Cherry tomatoes. Yeah. Mm. My taste buds are exploding. Yeah, like, because that is my lunch. I'm waiting. It's two o'clock, maybe oh, three o'clock. Right. I don't know. And I'm waiting for this uh, Sunday uh -huh. salad. And then I will add some uh, cucumber. Some cucumber. Look at this. Oh, this is red Russian kale. Ooh. It's very healthy. It's full of minerals. And protein. protein. And I need. Because you, know, you, want to have you need protein. also a little bit okay. of protein so. in your... Okay. So. And of course a little bit of avocado. A bit of avocado. Always you want good. me to help you? Giving you notes? Okay, I'm, I can do that. Because avocado so. 
it's absolutely amazing and uh, rich in glutathione as well mm -hmm. and then um, I would say onion you know my life without onion is not a life ah. so I can't eat you anything can't without eat. Uh, red onion onions are here and uh, I would like now next uh, more more onion sorry okay and then uh, sprouts a little bit of sprites I, I, yeah. I love the sprouts few pieces of walnuts, just a few halves. Yeah. Because I had already this morning some uh, walnuts, so okay. I'm okay. And of course, Andrea, your flowers. Now you taught me to eat flowers. So now <laughs> yeah. I would like some flowers. This is an addition, of course. So if you can, um, if you can manage to get uh, some chives uh, blossoms um, and thyme and herbs at all. Um, they enrich the salad, of course. They give you the vitamins and minerals that you can't get from the from the vegetables. So, so you can add all sorts of things. And um, oh my yeah, goodness, okay. So we're gonna make that a little bit nice here. Take that apart a little bit. Okay. And so sweet. They are so sweet. Yeah. And they're really looking nice. Okay. Strawberries. So I would. Um, that open. You can eat the greens of the strawberries yes. as well. You can get them organic better, okay? Better if you can get them organic, always. And one um, blackberry. Blackberry. Some big blackberries. Yeah, and uh, two raspberries. Put peppers, of peppers. course. I love okay. peppers. Okay. We also have fennel here. So this is a sweet oh, fennel, you know, Florence fennel. Oh, you know, fantastic. I love fennel. Yeah, see? What about mushrooms? Mushrooms? There's no, if, as long as they're fresh, yeah. you'll be having no problems. Yeah, because they have proteins and minerals and vitamins, but the, the yeah, flavor... There's a, there's a saying about the mushrooms, you know, some people say, oh, you know, you're not supposed to eat them raw, but yeah, you no. can eat them raw. Yeah. Um, Let's exaggerate. So and that is a paradise here. Okay, you yeah. want to you wanna have them here, okay. Yeah, good. I would say that... Uh, yeah. Carrots stay orange when you soak them a little bit in um, or pour lemon juice over them, yeah. fresh squeezed lemon juice over them then they keep the, uh, they keep the color. Or you can also, have you ever tried butternut squash? This is organic yeah, I like, butternut I love squash. Also when I say fresh I mean raw, okay? When I say fresh I mean raw. Fresh is never cooked. Fresh is as if you would get it directly from the plant, directly from the garden. Mm -hmm. That is what fresh means to me. And that is an amazing gift. Yeah. The only thing that is not raw on this table is actually the corn. Yeah, and I don't but want it the corn. Broccoli doesn't have to be steamed. You can also eat it raw. Yeah. And it is a huge difference when you have broccoli or even cauliflower um, if you cook it or if you don't cook it. Not only because of the nutrients that you lose through cooking, but um, you want to have really organic broccoli and organic cauliflower because the taste is distinctive. It's very different. It's sweet. And uh, you could also add or orange or a slice of lemon or just drizzle lemon on top as yeah. a dressing. Now um, you a little bit of goji berry on the top. Goji berry. My daughter will be delighted. She loves goji, she loves goji berry. I love oh, goji berry too. So this this is really heavily laden here. This table, uh, this this plate. And um, this is not a salad how I would normally make it. This is the salad that my son would like to have every night. <laughs> but you know, every night he said, why there's no this? Why you didn't add uh, yeah. Why? Did, but you know, every night I can't make a salad like that. But we can do our best. Yes. Isn't yeah. it? And the idea is really to, to have... Um, to have a, a, a variety of variety, variety, a huge variety, so we can pick and and see what we are moved to eat. Yeah. I, have, I have here some ready bought dressings, um, where you can see on the color there are different there are different colors here. Um, you can use them. There are vegan dressings as well. But, yeah, but honestly, or you can just use apple cider vinegar or tamari sauce or extra virgin or, cold um, pressed olive oil. Uh, but you know, I would exactly. go for this. Lemon juice. Today I want really okay. a healthy, amazing. You I made um, also. I made this is homemade. Of course, this is very fast put together. This is um, a dressing which is very easily done. It's uh, fresh mango, a bit of rosemary and 
avocado, and that's just it. Mm. And it tastes yummy. Yeah, so where was you? Where do you want to put it? The salad gets a smile. Yeah. Doesn't it? Really? If so? you look from this side, the yeah. salad is getting a smile. If you own a bar or a restaurant, you can make something like this. Anyway, we're getting to the best part now. Yeah, right? we're going to the best part. Okay, I'm sitting because I'm so uh, excited <laughs> to try this Andrea luxury salad. And of course, I encourage you to try to make your own dressings. Yes. Um, different ideas. Different cooks have different ideas. Be creational, invent new things. Lose your mind, mind, imagination, and your try mind. if you like apples and, and apples, if you like plums and curry yes. and experiments. Okay, so wait, do we go? It's yours. Of course, yeah. I, I love the green, I love everything with these greens, but I need a piece of Oh, yeah. Oh, awesome.